Well, this is a traveler's nightmare. A Delta pilot who failed a sobriety test was taken away in handcuffs before boarding his flight bound for San Diego. The shocking arrest is raising safety concerns. News 8's Marcella Lee shows us the policies in place to protect passengers. Marcella? He smelled and he got caught. According to Delta, 37-year-old Gabriel Schroeder was already on board Delta Flight 1728 bound for San Diego when he was taken off the aircraft at the Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport and arrested. TSA agents reported the smell of alcohol on Schroeder's breath. They're trained to look for this. Local aviation security expert Glenn Wynn says the mere scent of alcohol on a pilot is a big red flag because of this FAA rule. Eight hours bottle to throttle meaning a pilot cannot fly within eight hours of having a drink. The FAA also has a blood alcohol limit for pilots. And with the pilots or any other crew member, it's .04. A Minneapolis-St. Paul airport spokesperson says Schroeder turned around at the TSA checkpoint for pilots and crew when he noticed additional screening being done. He left the line, which caused suspicion. When he returned, TSA officers smelled alcohol on his breath, allowing Schroeder to pass through but reporting him to their supervisors. It's a dangerous situation. Wynn, a San Marcos resident, was director of Northwest Airlines Security at Minneapolis-St. Paul when three Northwest pilots were arrested for flying drunk in the 90s. They served time in federal prison. Wynn says there are additional checks that pilots and crew must now go through. When they brief, they're all together, and anybody that would uh, smell of alcohol or appear to be under the influence of drugs, everybody would immediately mention that and say, you know, we're not going to go. Schroeder was found to have a container of alcohol in his possession. Delta says it has a zero tolerance policy. He has not been formally charged as investigators await toxicology test results. You've got to be with it. You've got to be on the dime when you're flying. In San Marcos, Marcella Lee, News 8. And Marcella's story leads us to tonight's poll. We want to know, do you think pilots should have to submit to a breathalyzer before every flight? Here are the results so far. 95% of you responding say yes, they should. 5% voting no. If you haven't voted yet, there's still a couple of ways you can take part. The first is on our brand new News 8 app. Just scroll down to find the vote tab. You can also go to our website, cbs8.com vote. Voting will stay open after the show.